Oh, nah, nah. What's my name? I don't know why I sung in my head. Oh, nah, nah. What's my name? What's my name? What's my name? <laughs> How y'all doing? How your toes doing? Sisters, how y'all doing? Fellas, how y'all doing? Y'all all right out here in these streets? Uh, learning about all of this little, this little witchery stuff that's going on. But y'all know Halloween coming, so it's about to get ugly. It's about to get nasty. And keep your black cats in the house, because our cats always came up missing. Halloween time, everybody want a cat. Miss miraculously and the um clear people came to the hood to gank your cat okay yes that's how it was because we always had a cat i had a cat a black cat since i was 12. other than that we had thunder my mama named him thunder cat then that, that, that cat was a uh a, a warrior like shaka y'all y'all remember shaka the fighter he liked to fight. He liked to hunt. And he protected his territory, all these perimeters. He ain't like male cats over here. He only let this one male cat over here and he ain't tripped, but he was old. But he was so huge. I didn't even mess with the nigga. The nigga was so huge. He was like two a shocker, you might as well say. He was like one, a, a little bitty dog. But he was a black cat. And then the three wise men that came over, when Medusa had her children, they all came at the door. It was a white cat, a black cat, and a black and white cat. They was all at the door. Medusa went to the door, peeked out the door. It was snow everywhere. And she smelled them. They smelled her. Um, Mary Madeline was walking around in the back. Because there was this cat that came over here that used to mess with Shaka. And then she found out he had a wife. So she came climbing up my back door hollering when she found out that he had Medusa. And Shaka ran out the door after seeing Medusa and her see each other. Because Medusa ran out the door like, what's going on? What 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 you want, girl? And Shaka looked like, oh, hell no. Nah. He ran in the woods. Didn't see that nigga for two days. Just like men. A lot of y'all men, y'all can't accept the shit that y'all didn't call. So y'all go run and hide. And we never seen a girl cat again. Except the one girl cat that used to came over here. But she ain't had no business with Shaka. Then she brought her brother over here to get food one time. And somebody else over here to get food. Then she got into it with Divine. And we never seen her again. <laughs> yeah, I do need me a, a love a love of hip hop <laughs> for my kitty cats, man. I I could get I could have got paid. Can't feel your cuts in the kids' ancestors. I'm so up and energized. But I did go to bed like nine. No, I didn't. I went to bed at like three o'clock. Now that I thought about it, cause I watched Fatima and I watched like twelve documentaries. Then I watched some nail videos because, you know, I did my nails. Mm -hmm. And to my men, thank you to my men, 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 men. Because I ain't paying these hoes no more. I pay my daughter. I ain't paying these hoes no more. $100. It's like a full set. It's like $50 now. Then they want $10 to $15 per nail for a design. Then, if you bring your own stuff, they still pay you as if you're using their stuff. So, when you are done with your nails and stuff, you won't come out about $100. And I'm used to the 40, the 40 ball. And I don't know nothing about this $100 shit. Like, y'all let me fuck up. Because half of these vendors is getting their stuff from overseas. So, they sit up there and say they got to pay for equipment. The lie detector determined that's a lie. Period. This is very pretty. Mount Shasta. I want to read this. I'm anxious. 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 
We anxious, Lord Master. Number 37. What did this mean? I want to read it at the end. It said, your origins, the seeds that make you what you, what and who you, what and who you, star beings, scar power places, unexplained, mystical, uh, why I can't get this word? Phenom, phenom, phenomena, whatever. Intuitive messages and downloads, dreams and visions. Oh, look, UFOs. I told y'all we are Martians. Somebody gonna sit up there and say, we are not from, we are not aliens. I don't know who you are, but if you ain't been on my page, it's the reason why I call us Martians. It's not, we are aliens. Is that what I, I made y'all feel like, that we were aliens? No. I said, our intuition is at 5D, okay, while we're living in 3D. So the, the the pop in and the pop out, if you inconsistent, you can't make these kind of comments. During my time, they say I came up to understand that I've seen many records. And you know that's so funny this will come out. You wanna know why? Cause now all of a sudden E. T. Y'all know E. T. the phoned home. So they done found E. T. They made a movie about E. T. thirty years ago. Then they found the real E. T. Now they got this island that this plane is supposed to disappear at with these scientists on them. But they didn't disappear because four of them kind of like got away and leaked footage. But they got tortured over there on the doggone island. Man, I tell y'all, I be in some old, some deep, dark stuff. It said, this card is about origins. It is time to honor and look more deeply into your ancestral. And I was saying that because a lot of people don't know the origin of their bloodline. And my father was adopted. So when he passed, we got all of his freaking paperwork. Everything connected to him. Pictures, the men, the real dad, the real mom. We found out so many, so much about him. He never lied when we was little. He said he was born in Mississippi, and Mississippi is where the hell he was born. And back then, it was rainbow people back then. So his his real mom was was bisexual, and she was messing with my, my the woman we know as our grandmother, and she had a band aid husband, a husband that. You know, covered for her lesbian. Because she was full-blown lesbian. So, she got pregnant by a dude that went to war. And the guy we knew as my dad's granddad wasn't his, his... I mean, as my dad's dad wasn't his real dad. It was his best friend. Because my dad's real dad had passed. Ain't that some shit, y'all? Y'all, that was some shit. So, we got to digging through the story, putting the story together, putting the pictures together and all types of stuff to figure out who the heck we even was. And then, you know, my other sisters, they gave up. I kept going. I kept reading. I started researching. But then other shit started happening. So, I ain't get to get too deep in it. But all of my life, he said it was from Mississippi. And Mississippi, he was. <laughs> But his daddy was sharp now. He was sharp. My, my granddaddy was sharp. My real, real DNA granddaddy. He was a cold motherfucker. Even his best friend was sweet and slick. But he was super tall and linky. Just like my daddy. Just like my daddy. He was handsome. And so she gave my daddy to my grandma that we know at two years old. Gave him to her. So, my grandma in that year took him to go see fucking Santa. And that was the first picture we found of my dad and my grandma at two years old. Uh, little Ricky, she called him Little Ricky at two years old. I can't say he didn't look happy. He just looked like, okay, so what's this? That's what he kind of looked like. 
And then as time progressed, you can see his pictures of him having fun in the neighborhood with friends. And then this chick that tried to steal the inheritance, Penny, tried to steal my grandma's inheritance. Um, she thought my grandma was her, her mama because my grandma took her in. But it was no legal documentation. My dad was legally documented, so... It was really no argument. He only went to court one time. And it's like it was thrown out. I was younger. but And it was just weird that he was even going to court. It was weird that she was even trying to do that. Because Wendy Ass was uh, a full-blown heroin addict. And when we looked at the pictures, she was the one that introduced my dad to heroin. Mm-hmm, Yep. And if you read all of the stuff on the back of everything, when she came into my grandma life, she really came into my grandma house, my grandma life, like a runaway little girl. And then she was a runaway little girl on drugs. So, of course, I feel like it was out of jealousy she introduced my dad to it because he was her biological child. As far, not biological. She was... His actual child, her actual child on paper. Mm. I'm always telling y'all my business. Stay out my business. Do you have any infinity with any star beings? Connecting with them might allow you greater insight into your traits, your strengths, and your challenges. Perhaps you have a luminum, whatever that word is connection this card may also be encouraging you to visit scarred places you feel attracted to they may have an intuitive message for you and i'm all for that because you ever just thought about who you act like who you look like back in the day like do y'all ever had dreams of a person and you should figure out who this person is who this woman is who this man is that you keep visualizing and then it's like you start looking like them and then you already know when you think you in a doggone dream or something like that, you got to start touching stuff in the dream or tear it up. If it's scary, go go break a mirror. Go do, you got to do something in your dreams to escape. You'll get killed. You can you get killed in your dreams. Now, people die in their sleep. They die in that other realm. What's another thing that happens? And you, you know how you say you try to go back to sleep and go back to that dream? Did you know I used to always try to do that? I ain't learned how to do that until I lived in Texas. You had to go back into the dream. You got to go back to that place. So you got to learn how to really meditate to bring yourself back to that place before you go to sleep. It's like you got to go back to complete the assignment to find out more information. That's why I said dreams and um, dreams and something else. You could be getting messages from the aliens, okay? That's fine with me. I prefer messages from the aliens. <laughs> the aliens could be spirit. Some of y'all, it could be telling y'all to go to the water, make an offering to the water, uh, go to a particular house, dig something up. It could be all types of messages. Some of y'all could be... Uh, connected to a different culture like you could be Indian and black Chinese and black um, whatever people it is whatever because I don't think a Canadian is a, a origin to me because what is a Canadian in my ignorance if I don't know please explain to me but what the heck is a Can Canadian ain't that just like an American that's not a, a, a origin like Asia, I say you could be Asian and black. Or Indian. India from these places. Pakistani. Oh, whatever. You could be mixed with other different things that's dominating in your energy and a lot of people not understanding it because a lot of people do that have that in their DNA. Just like they say Indians is drunks and just Pay attention to how many people in your family are drunks. Because <laughs> they do. After you really pay attention to the Indians, the nowadays Indians, they are drunks. They get lit. 
Ooh, ooh, yeah. But, ooh, it's this pretty boy named Ricky. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I seen Ricky. Ricky didn't got out of jail, y'all. Ricky didn't got out of jail. But it didn't look like he was happy with that girl. I ain't gonna lie, because I seen him at the school where my daughter was at. He didn't look happy, but you never know what's going on in people's head. But he still looked like pretty Ricky. And it looked like that liquor had wore off on him. But he was the first person, because in Detroit, they used to always send letters home to see if you, uh, anybody in your family was an Indian and could they come up there and come tell their story. So, Ricky was the first person I know whose mother was a Blackfoot. We had never heard Blackfoot. They dogged the hell out of poor Ricky. They talk about his mom was a Blackfoot. He was a blue foot. They just called, they did Ricky wrong in the hood. But in the end, and then Ricky mama had dad, so he was real sensitive about that. But she was a drunk. Later on, Ricky wound up being an alky. But he was a badass barber, but an alky. But he was at the point, like, borderline headed to alky, and borderline can still be saved. So he wound up being saved. His liver wasn't gone yet. <laughs> but it, it really look good. But she was going to set the face for cancer. What's this mouse? Stasha. Look up these names and see if y'all can find documentaries on them. Learn more about these carpets coming out. I don't know everything about them. Like y'all, I tell y'all sometimes I want to learn with y'all. So let it be a shopper to me too, the pictures and everything. So now this gave me something else to uh, research. I already researched that damn island. Like 90 videos about that island. And it, it, it say that's where um, America take people and torture them. Because, you know, they say America don't torture. No, we don't torture on our soil. We go over here to this... Uh, this island like Roanoke. You know, Roanoke is where they used to do training for the FBI and stuff like that. And then, allegedly, the this, this story behind it is everybody miraculously disappeared on the whole island. So then they made the movie um, Storm of the Century. And then they said that's basically what happened to all the people in Roanoke. Night of Swords is what you're going to see coming. A Truth is Coming. A savior. Somebody could be coming in to save, to help, to protect, to defend, to to tell you something. Give me some messages about this mom, Sasha, 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 Sasha Fears, Seven of Swords, in Reverse. You gonna find out something about somebody, or you gonna confess? They gonna confess, but something's about to come out. And your intuition, it's going to be something that you get intuitively. And some of y'all, y'all intuition could be like mine. You get agitated first. You get irritated. You get agitated. You get, you just don't want to be bothered. You get cranky. And that's when something is happening. Something deceitful is going on around me. Somebody is being malicious. And, um, it, you got... You got to take the time to find it out. You got to take the time to see what you're feeling. And then you got to bring it on in. You got to meditate on it. And you got to bring it on in. You got to get the messages from the stars. Wow. That is so beautiful. Some of y'all could be hiding things that's going on. You you could be hiding your next move. What you got up your sleeve. And, and it, but see, this is the thing you hiding it, but it's showing. It's showing in your energy because people trying to understand why you're so fucking giddy and <laughs> so happy. You, you, you know how, um, jinx, you don't want to jinx yourself, but you excited about it. It's happening, it's unfolding. Oh, can y'all believe they shutting the government down? Mm 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 mm. mm. Them damn Democrats. And yes, I said Democrats, so would. Mm, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. 
<laughs> I'm not a um what's that other one? What's that one Ray J went on to try to say he was? It was so funny, Ray J trying to preach to everybody about politics. But at the end of the day, he gotta make his vote too. So he made his little stand. I'm not a liberal. I'm not uh, I'm an independent. I vote for who makes sense to me. Or now, just who my intuition is drawn to. And I don't know who intuition was drawn to Biden. Some of y'all are just uh, traditional voters. Uh, uh, Auntie Nene and Grandma Nisi and them, they voted for uh, Democrats. So I'm just doing what all of my family have always did. It's That's why they sit up there and say a lot of y'all, a lot of people are sheep. Brain did y'all keep up with what, what everybody else did? Nobody take the time to do the research on their own. Why? Well, already did the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Pentacles. You know what? I I this can be in your family or this could be somebody. Somebody is um I keep hearing sacrifice. I don't know. I don't know how true that is. It's it could be in the distraction in my mind. That could be the deceit that took place. But it's like Somebody has a problem. I ain't gonna say a problem. Someone doesn't even have intentions of really dealing with you or having a family or keeping a family connected. It's self gain. That's what I'm trying to get at. If somebody is not, or somebody has fucked up their family. Or any possibility of it because of their deceitful ways, their malicious ways. Somebody is feeling this kind of energy. Or they're ending their family to come towards the Queen of Pentacles. It, some of y'all could have a lot of family against y'all though. Because of the Queen of Pentacles you become or how you always wind up being blessed in situations. A lot of people can really get jealous of you for that. I was talking to... My homegirl mama about that. And we was talking about how we don't really deal with nobody no more. Because people be your friends for years and secretly hate you. People will say they're your favorite sister, your favorite brother. And they just don't like you. They do not like you. They secretly will align with anybody to take you down. Or to prove you wrong. And somehow throughout all of this, somebody could be possibly trying to figure out how are you this queen of pentacles. How did you manifest this? How were you blessed with this? Why are you able to conquer this? And you was deceitful about it. How did you pull this right up under their eyes? Because look, you wasn't even working. You wasn't working. They did not know exactly what you were doing. They didn't think you were work. They don't. Think you are worthy enough to have this Queen of Pentacles position. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for the next session? I'm, I'm wondering if this is you or is this someone else? Because that's the part that got me confused. But a lot of y'all, I believe, y'all keeping your... Um, keeping how you move to yourself. You got a hermit here. This could be a Virgo. This Herman probably didn't went within and they're realizing that they're disconnecting from the family. It's chaos going on in the family. You know how some people, I think the most codependent sign is earth signs. They are codependent. They constantly need to be watered some type of way, either mentally, um, with the, emotionally, or pet sex. They have to be getting something. They constantly need to be getting something from it. Or they get drained and they go off somewhere else because they didn't they didn't drain you out. So now they gotta go somewhere else. 
But this could be a Virgo that's going within to find out or to get some understanding or some type of truth about something. A lot of people don't want to admit that their family is their problem, their distraction, and their downfall. They like to justify it because that's all they have. But they, they, they're unsuccessful. They haven't accomplished nothing. They haven't grown. Nothing has changed in their life. And neither will they detach themselves from this toxic family connection. The five of cups is in reverse. I really just feel like somebody is letting this go. Because you know how you get money? And then your family think you're supposed to automatically look out for them and take care of them. I think this Queen of Pentacles is not doing it. She's not looking out. She's not taking care of because of what she went through to get to where she at. So she's not interested in sitting up here providing for everybody because when she was down, she couldn't even ask somebody for a drink of water. God damn. This could be somebody coming back to you after realizing how much... They didn't knock all of these cups over and they still had this one cup in you and they didn't fuck that up too. At least that, I hope that nasty energy gone. Remember that King of Wines energy the other day? Oh God, I hope he didn't ran off. I hope he didn't seen something and just got the hell on. Like, this motherfucker not about to fuck with me. Some of y'all could be getting messages in your dreams. Some of y'all could be out at night. Some of y'all could be traveling and see something at night on the road that's going to give you a message. And like I said, some of y'all just need to go by the damn water. This is the rain and the water. Some of y'all need to just go by the water. It's a message there. You might find something there that's going to help you move on, let something go, achieve something. It's going to bring you some type of clarity, an offering. Some of y'all might need to just give an offering, like I said. And the King of Cups is in reverse. Why does Heffa keep coming out? He gets on my nerve too. Now he's starting to get on my nerve. A lot of y'all aren't emotionally available. Like you, you here, you with the shit, you available, you could hang out, have fun. I don't think the emotion side is there because you're standing so strong in your Queen of Pentacles. I'm not saying Queen of Pentacles doesn't have balance, but it, it, sometimes they lack emotions because everything is stern, put together, in order, uh, and, and by the book, and uh, finance, uh, financially stable. A lot of y'all are trying to get order in your home. But the emotions isn't flowing. Some of y'all are emotionally manipulative. Or you're dealing with somebody that's coming to emotionally manipulate you. This could have been energy of the past. This could be a king of, Pentac a king of cups that then disconnected from this queen of pentacles. But tell us who the queen of pentacles is. Heart with a key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. And it's perfect. Okay. And tell us who this king of cups is. In reverse. Why is this King of Cups is in reverse? It's a runner. He's a track star. A runner in a codependent relationship. Fear intimacy and listening to the ego. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like they ran listening to the ego because they came with this standard. Oh, I got to have blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh, I got to have a chick that got uh, uh, her wig look like some curly fries. <laughs> and uh, she wear long shaquat nails. And she got to be bisexual. And then they, they out here miserable. They ran to something. They out here looking for that unstable energy. Just everywhere energy, honestly. The Queen of Pentacles can be intuitive because in reverse, she can deal in the darkest magic. I told you. This is the only competitive energy for the for um, water signs. Intuition is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, if you didn't master the Queen of Pentacles intuitively and the Queen of Cups, goddamn shit, yeah, motherfucker, you are forced to be reckoned with. And honestly, I believe a lot of y'all have because 
like I said in a previous reading, you don't have to dabble in dark magic to be knowledge of it. I mean, the dark side of magic then to be knowledgeable of it. You don't have to dabble in it, but you got to know how to protect yourself against it. And then a lot of times you can make your uh, demons your, your best friends. You conquer your dog on demon, baby. That's a cold motherfucker right there because he will turn around and he, she, her, they, or them will turn around and have your back. So they will see other demon, demonic forces come towards you and all these spiritual battles that's going on out here in the universe right now. Those, those um, grimy ancestors has come. Those toxic demons that people didn't send towards you and you didn't send them back, you got cool with them. Now, when they sit up there and try to conjure them up again, um, try to conjure them up again, what happens? They ain't coming or they come and fuck shit up for them, not you. Why the King Cups in reverse? Why is this King Cups in reverse? Some of y'all are fear of intimacy after everything you've been through. Oh my god oh my god this cancer this cancer leo maybe you're gonna meet another one maybe it's one out here a feminine more masculine out here this could be the hater this could be the one that's trying to because somebody's trying to manifest out this queen of pentacles that's what they're trying to do but you went high and you isolated yourself you're not out here being very flamboyant you like a pop-up shop. <laughs> you <Yo, laughs> pop-ups here, there, and everywhere. Every blue moon, here and there. People see, people get word. Oh, well, we seen uh, Martian over here at such and such house. And we seen Martian over here. And she, um, bought the bar. I don't know. I'm just talking shit. But she was at the mall and bought this. And she fed the children and stuff like that. And they like, Martian did that? Yeah, bitch, Martian. This person could be bisexual. Could be a bisexual uh, Cancer Leo energy. Somebody who's denying their own bisexuality. They try to act like they don't want a woman or a man. And they do. Tell about the King of Wands. Addictions. Look at this shit here. God damn it shit here, motherfucker. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. Has a block in her strength. This person got a mental illness. Because you got, you you obsessive. You a runner. You got a big ass ego. You fear something real. Look, feeling something real. Fearing something real. That's why the King of Cups in reverse. You fear something real. Some of y'all are dealing with another King of Cups. A Cancer Pisces. Cancer Leo Cups. Or another water fire. This could be a Scorpio Sagittarius Cups. So why the King of Wands in reverse though? Spirit man says this is what this King of Wands in reverse problem is. He's a liar. Ooh, it's like we go together. It's like they lie. They come back. Give a fake apology. But I don't think they was able to successfully move on with it. This isn't a, a controlling, possessive individual. This is somebody that try to invade your mind. This is a con artist. <laughs> That's the King of Wands. King of Cups, King of Wands energy is, is a con artist. Because just the king of cups in reverse, that mean they can, they're, they master manipulation, your emotion, the manipulation of your emotions. King of wands in reverse, they master how to communicate the manipulation and how to passionately seduce you. This is a cold-blooded motherfucker. This person's not to be fucked with, honestly. You're going to have to have a high power. Somebody probably came for, for a star seed. They did. Somebody did send a dignity towards you, but they couldn't find you with this hermit energy. They couldn't get. They couldn't convince you. They couldn't confuse you. They couldn't get it together. They couldn't figure out how to gather your ass.
that came from this slut out ass king energy to this knight energy, but they came with lies. And the fact that you see right through the lies is pissing them the hell off. See, the thing is, it seems like they're testing your intuitive gangster. And that's why they keep getting pissed off. Because where is it that they thought that they had manipulated you enough to weaken your powers? They actually, you strengthen your powers. Who, who is this person? How do cancer your cousin know who this person is? Because I, I don't got time for this bitch. Swords in reverse. Either these is three kings is coming in to attack this Queen of Pentacles because no matter what they didn't try to do to her, they have reigned supreme, she reigned supreme. Or this is one manipulative cunt. Listen. They're jealous. Men can be jealous of women. Okay? They're jealous. They're infected. And they have a mental illness. A king of swords in reverse is somebody that needs to analyze shit so much that they analyze they self up out of it. That they don't move forward into it because they didn't thought about it so much that they never ever do it. <laughs> they sit up there and pros and cons it. And, and when the pros was high ranking, they didn't think about it so much that the cons that over, overthrown the pros in their head, though. Not reality. Because remember I said, it's a mental illness. And a lot of men with these three kings, a lot of men will never admit to mental illness. A man that admits to mental illness is a golden. He, he, he or she is golden. Because they're going to get, they're going to go get help for it. And they're letting you know. So when in a, in a sticky situation or something going on, you know how to handle them. A man in denial about mental illness, he's going to justify, make excuses. But the most thing you got to pay attention is, he's going to make you feel like you're crazy. So you have to be careful. You have to be strong within yourself. Because a king of swords in reverse will make you feel like you are batshit fucking crazy. Because that's what they are. Because now they lack the power that you have. You hold the power. See, the queen of pentacles is holding the power. She has the financial stability, awareness, and abundance in the protection of the universe. That's why her intuition is aligned with the stars her dreams is telling what's going on her gut her gut is letting her know something ain't right so all that stuff i said in the beginning being irritated agitated all of that stuff that's happening that's because it's a snake in your miss it's a fox in your miss and you gotta gut the bitch out you gotta toss it out on the street you gotta behead a snake and then cut the head in half. And then travel all around the damn city and drop pieces of the head. <laughs> you got to be serious. You got to let it go, too. Tell me about this King of Swords in reverse. The Cancer Leo Cup Spirit and that stuff. Why is the King of Swords in reverse? A hammer. They sabotage their own change. They sabotage their own um, uh, ability to grow. They, they sabotage their whole life. Didn't I sit up there and say the pros and the cons? They are, uh, the cons will overthrow the pros in their head. They self-sabotage. Rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, and working on it. They hammer themselves in the head about the same thing. Oh, look at this shit. This, this, what, what's that shit them kids say? I can't make this up. I can't make this up. It, didn't pull this card out. The shit flew out. Y'all seen it? This is what they did. Everything I just said, they did. This is what they did. And then, and then, after it all fails, they blame you. 
Sometimes they'll blame you or they'll create a justification that that uh, justifies why I failed instead of admitting what? Wrongdoing. It's like a doctor who did a, a surgery on you and it went bad and, and they go to the books and come up with all these logics or stories or theories uh, or her hypothesis on why they did it's not their fault but in the end by you being the the uh doctor that know of all these theories and still proceeded with the surgery you are at fault you big dummy <laughs> tell me about this king of swords in reverse A lot of y'all done empty these people out of your heart, mind, and soul, and they can't get over it. They talking shit. They talking a lot of shit. Five of Pentacles. I feel like this person had a, po a possibility of trying to fix things with you. They had an actual chance of rebuilding, like they said, with you or uh, what, however. This can be family, friends, or whatever. But they had a chance of rebuilding, and they chose... To be manipulative. Because they, they took advantage of your heart. But what they didn't expect. Is what I said. That your heart was an icebox. To the bullshit. Because a lot a lot of what people don't understand is you don't know what somebody really done went through and everybody wants to say they didn't experience the worse or hurt than the other person when all actuality let's just leave it at we all been hurt okay yours worse than mine well i i don't get involved in that that's like that that to me personally that colorist stuff oh oh I, I was darker than you, so they cussed me out and did, did me this. Well, I was lighter than you, and they cussed me out and did that. And so it's just like, uh, hell, they call me a, um, what that, what them people call me a, a, a ninja lover. That's what they told me. I was a ninja lover, and I'm like, I'm a whole ninja. Then they call me mulattoes, and ignorant ass people don't even know what a mulatto is. Man, it's just be so extra. People be so extra. So, it, bro, the, the darker melanated and the lighter melanated people, men, women, or whatever, are equally hurt. So why do we have to fester on who was hurt worse? Everybody was hurt. That ain't what we supposed to be doing here. How are we going to build from this hurt with each other? That's what we need to be doing. Build from this hurt with each other. Not let them... let. Willie and his lynching letter, we not gonna let that letter destroy our you us uniting, right? That's supposed to be the plan. It seems like they're trying to fix the debt that they are in. They're trying to get out of some type of sticky situation or bind that they're in. They're trying to pay some type of karmic debt, but for some reason, why are they trying to pay it? Why in King of Swords in reverse energy? How is you trying to fix something while being toxic? You can't, you can't do that. It's, it's disingenuous. It's nothing genuine about the situation. I feel like a lot of people perceive you as perfect. Uh, you got it all together, but it's not it's not that. that. That just goes to show you how much people are not paying you any attention. It's not that you got it all together. It's just your wisdom and your truth. And you being everything the opposite of what they are, it bothers them. And a queen that's the opposite of all these toxic kings will most definitely bother them. Because now you're not you're not just the one or you don't got it all together. Now they done said you think you the shit. You think you done done nothing wrong. You conceited. You the uppity negro. They done came for you. Just because you chose not to fester in his dark ass mindset or you chose not to let anyone interrupt you that come towards you with this dark ass mindset child what's going on here oh when your intuition see i told you carry on banks <laughs> carry on 
me out. You out of here. Either they coming to you for some type of success story or they you reign the victory. The queen reign the victory over all these toxic ass men because now you have got rid of them and you don't you have no mercy. You don't give a shit. Like, I don't care that you sleep at the bus stop. Like, once upon a time, you cared. But the icebox came. Because when you cared, they didn't appreciate it. But the one thing a lot of people can't stand is having to face their karma. Because the one thing they don't like is the fact karma come how she wants to come. Just like a man trying to gain superiority over a woman or dominancy over her, thinking he going to bully her or scare her into whatever the fuck he going to try to get her to do. To me, those days is over. I ain't going to lie. That shit left my mom left my daddy in my head. Like, that shit was cap. Because then my auntie left her nigga. So it was just like... When you try to dominate over somebody, it's only a matter of time they're going to rebel. It's like white supremacy. It's only a matter of time the blacks will rebel. And it's only been a matter of time women ain't giving a damn about men. Did y'all ever think y'all would see today? But see, when natural order starts to restore, it's going to go like that. It's going to seem like women are fast and trash and sluts and hoes and all that type of shit. But no, the the, the fact that you put us in a delusional ass box in the first place is where men first went wrong. And then tried to call us the weaker vessel when we had them. Ain't that the craziest shit in the world? Have you ever heard such nonsense? Then turns around and try to manipulate us into saying, oh, you going to wish you had a man when you get old. Last I checked, when I left the medical field, the men had no one taking care of them. <laughs> it, it was like, you are holding their hand while they die. Ain't no family came to help them. It was a nurse, a nurse's assistant, the doc, some of the doctors was out there holding these men in hand. It wasn't nobody coming to see these men because they never stabilized themselves. Mm-mm, no, they didn't. They never, um, half of them never took care of their kids. Somebody might have, like my uncle, had a favorite niece. So he go favorite niece here. Or something like that, a long lost son then came from overseas because he found out his dead dad or something like that but it, it, it's really sad to see how many men just die alone just because they want to be a whole forever even the rich ones because they be rich somebody probably will pay for their housing but they paying for their housing and waiting on them to crow and then as soon as they croak, it's like wipe the room out. Do you know they let the nurses and stuff take whatever they want? Some of them don't even keep pictures. Look at some of these dumpsters to be these old pictures of people. They don't, they don't care nothing about them. They took the money, cleaned the rooms out, and, 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 and cremated them and dumped them in the river. See you later about it onto their doggone life because no, they have not properly established emotional bonds, stability, or longevity for themselves. They live in the now. They live in their greed. They live in their ego. They live in their mind. And then they wonder why the mothers is always at somebody's house, being taken care of, being fed. But always somebody always up there. Mama got bundles of flowers. She got her bags of candies. The mamas was gold. I can't lie. The mamas was gold. And some, 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 some of them fathers, some, very few, really had some family up there that wasn't playing about them. Cause my damn daddy, girl, I called the chief of staff on my daddy. Uh uh-uh. uh. And, and my daddy was lying the whole damn time. I later on found out, but I did call the chief, chief of staff. Because he said that the lady was rough when she put the tube out. But then the head nurse lady came and sh- explained to me when the tube come out what's happening to him to make it feel like it's rough. So it's not nobody being rough. This came with what he did to himself. And I'm like, yeah, that's yeah, okay now. But he, oh, he dramatized that real good. He got me all worked up. He did it for me. Who is that? Hold on. 
I, I feel like these are a lot of men, though, that's trying not to crash out while crashing out. It's like they're trying to save fate, but still not putting in the work. It's just like somebody who's doing the bare minimum to get by. Because, you know, some men think their Pied Piper will get them through the door. And look, uh, fellas, this this isn't a dig at you. It's just this is how the reading go. You got three kings here in the reverse and a queen of pentacles sitting here on goddamn pedestal. So at the end of the doggone day, it's three masculines out here mad at this feminine because she's not choosing to entertain their bullshit. That she realized the deceit behind their family or how they feel like they're going to be. Or how they are acting like they're so family oriented or they want a family and she realized that she doesn't want that with them anymore. Because when she she get in that mood that, okay, I'm about to be with him. We about to take this here. She started giving different. She started loving different. But to find out that this somebody's doing this for self gain. Or out here still playing games or spinning the block or need 900 options or constantly looking for better and better and better and better. I don't understand that part, though. The need to constantly look for better and better and better and better and better until it's just nobody there no more. I don't I don't think I can understand that. Even even with like jobs and stuff like because I don't work places based off of money. That's why I quit. I quit. I go work one day and quit. Because I'm not about to do this. You're not about to talk to me like this. So you can take your smart ass mouth and your $19 and kiss my head. So how about that? On Tuesday. And then just walk out in the middle of the whole line going or whatever. Or walk out on Black Friday. Shit. That's what I did at Walmart. Everybody pulling their hair on Black Friday. Cussing the employees out and you just like, up, oh, walk well, clean off the register too, bitch. How dare you do it? <laughs> How dare you to do it? See, that's what a lot of employers are starting to realize. They starting to value their employees because number one, everybody hiring. Baby, what that boy say last night? We was up there at the little hall place. Uh, the girl was like, where you going? He was like, I'm going to see Jesus. He on the main line. He just called me. And I, everybody just started laughing. Like, because he said he didn't know that girl. And he didn't know why she was talking to him like that. So, that that's why everybody started laughing. I thought he knew her. The way she said, where is you going? I really thought that girl knew him. He said he didn't know that girl from Jump Street. And he said he was going to see Jesus. He's on the main line. <laughs> so, Jesus is even calling, asking in for help. Now, so... You really think people about to sit around here and play with you? Tell me about the chariot. At the end of the day, you embody your loving energy. You not about to jeopardize your pure heart to accommodate egos. Ooh, that was cool. Because you was a gift. You was a star seed for each and every motherfucker that tried to play you. You came with a genuine, pure heart. But what you fell to do, ooh, let me tell you about you, okay? What you fell to do is get that energy to your goddamn self, okay? You gave all of that to them, okay? And you let them open the door, open the door, open the door, open the door. No, you open the door to the heart of your goddamn self, okay? But baby, when you did it, You got Mad Time, Bill, and Jeff, all of them mad. What's the? You got DG and um, what's some damn hood names? Day Day for all I care. I don't know. <laughs> DG and Day Day. Everybody know a Day Day now. Nah. Shit, Day Day is like the dominant name now nah, everywhere. My post son, my post son, his daddy name and that. Look. Look at this emotional damage people facing. For, look for the games that they play. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell y'all one quick hack, one quick secret on some real shit. 
don't well, you know when people say let me get a, a picture for your con for my contacts don't send it don't do it don't be sending these people pictures no more if you don't know now you know Mm-mm. just say um i'll let you know when i'm ready to do that especially if it's the beginning y'all dating and don't don't send nobody your goddamn picture because fellas y'all know damn well y'all they got very 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 thick and y'all uh warlock whether you a toxic warlock or a genuine a pure-hearted warlock a lot of y'all ain't got real 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 knowledge of though of y'all sorcery and they is putting it out here y'all they putting it out here and it could be as simple as them taking your picture and just spewing venom at that mud you know that's a form of sorcery dark sorcery you can write I don't even want to tell y'all that. That's so terrible. Because don't go do that. Like, but I'm going to tell y'all, just be cautious. Just in case you see your name somewhere randomly. Yeah, hey, write your name down in a book, right? So, And this this could be a form of blood magic, too. Because this is just how bad they want to come for you. I'm not telling y'all. That's so, so terrible. That's some terrible ass shit to do. Write somebody's name down. And then, ooh, child, listen here. Where the chariot going, sir and ancestors? What's the chariot going? Some of them might see you in a new car. This is a success story. This is a success in everything you got going on. Because a lie ain't going to get this person. No, these people nowhere. Tell me about this chariot. Man, I ain't talked to y'all in a long time. Told y'all. Told y'all, they see y'all out here partying, doing your doggone thing. Look, you from Queen of Pentecost to this. Look how high your uh, intuition is. They want to know your secret. That's what they want to know. Some of y'all done lost weight too. Y'all have. They, they, they want to know your secret. This is just how successful you is because... You really didn't cut them out. That's the whole reason why they watching and lurking. Because they riding back and they uh, watching you on social media. Some of y'all know somebody on social media. Or they know y'all on social media. And stop giving up y'all social media accounts too. Like, dang. Get off of that crap. Shoot, just bare minimum it. I just put quotes on mine. Nah. You ain't going to see me. Every now and then, I do a story. See that pop in, pop out? You'll see me once a month, probably on a little story. That's it. But you out here partying and minding your own damn business. Because they're expecting you to be mad and miserable. Mad and miserable, okay? Lying to yourself. Just out here miserable. So you went in hermit to get your coins right. To get you getting out of debt. You paying your bills. You was, you was doing what you supposed to be doing. You was doing what the fuck they should have been doing. Why they up there worrying about every whole whole that coming town? You was doing what they was supposed to be doing. This this also could be somebody coming to a a sorcerer to help them out with something, help them see something, help them understand something. But this really just look like you just out here doing your thing. And I think when they see you pop up every now and then and you doing your thing, it's like you're either getting richer and richer or you getting um, enriched. It's not just financially. It's just, like I said, y'all losing weight. You probably look younger. <laughs> you probably got more energy than you ever had. And a lot of people is trying to understand where your income at. A lot of people probably want to know where you live because you probably moved and relocated. So a lot of people trying to figure out what's going on. So you probably didn't really got a new car, new house, and out here at the bar turned out, turned up somewhere or in the event, Halloween coming, you might go to a Halloween party, but somebody's trying to understand how they cannot break your seal because you, some of y'all then created a seal of protection or you wear some type of seal of protection because uh, sorcery is not going to be so strong when it attack you. You like I tell you, you probably get a headache, stomach start hurting, like it, your arm hurt. You wake up in a dream and your arm just feel like it been on death row for ten years. Yeah, somebody probably stabs you in that damn dream. <laughs> it, 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 people don't want to believe this kind of stuff happens. It happens, or 
Remember I woke up with those three scratches on my arm? And it wasn't a cat scratch because that had to be a damn tiger to scratch me for those scratch to be that doggone big. Uh, you could put black salt in your bed to protect you, crystals in your bed to protect you up under your pillows and stuff like that. When certain stuff start coming after you, if you sleep with a bra on, put it in your bra. You sleep with tiny whities on, put it in your balls, okay? Because some people try to do sex magic on you to come back to them. They damn near straight molest you in your dream. <laughs> suck a bit synergy. They coming to suck all of that sexual energy out of you. But at the end of the day, this is, it, it is what it is. Some of y'all people didn't lost the connection somewhere else. Uh, things not going according to their delusion. Uh, you probably is the best sex somebody ever had. So now everybody's running back to you to get. But they already had and they didn't appreciate. Okay. Peace.